welcome back. So uh, today I reached in the bucket of locks that I got from Bill Bacardi. Um, pulled out a uh, lock, a challenge lock from the looks of it. Um, and uh, uh, thank you again, Bill, for all the locks and key blanks and everything, man. You're awesome. So thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out Bill Bacardi's uh, channel, go check him out. He's uh, picking locks and uh, he's just a real generous guy. He sends a lot of awesome packages to uh, everybody in lock sports. So, uh, really nice guy. Um, this one is the, uh, <laughs> it's got the uh, devil horns on it. Uh, it is uh, pinned by Le uh, Late Night Lock Picker, um, March 23rd of 2017. So, uh, and it is a. Um, yeah, it's kind of a almost a quick setish type key, uh, keyway. I've um, got a ledge there I can work off of, uh, but it does say LNLP on the uh, on the lock. So late night lock picker. Um, I have not picked any of his locks, so I'm really looking forward to this. Actually, um, when I got that package in, I realized that it was a new somebody knew that I hadn't picked their locks. So um, and I love challenge locks. So uh, always 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 enjoy that. So uh, let's put in the vice. See if we can get into this thing. Um, that is a wide open uh, keyway on top, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use. Let me see here. Yeah, that sits really crooked in there. I'm gonna grab my 50,000th pry bar, and it's still pretty wide in there, but I think I'll make it work. Um, and then let me move you guys around here a second. Sorry about that. Let me zoom in a little bit too. Um, there we go. Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to grab my gem because, well, that's uh, my go-to pick. <laughs> and I'm going to work off that ledge right there, so that'll work. Um, I'll do what I always do, which is uh, start in the back of the lock and apply some tension. Pull forward and search for a binder. Uh, three. Okay, I got a couple clicks on him. Two, got a click on him. Uh, four is down. Okay, I just got a little bit on him. He's still down though. Getting counter. Oh, okay, I just got him set and got a good false set going here. Um, and it's all quiet. What do I do in here? Hmm. Nope, I'm getting a slight bit of counter in the back there. On five. Okay, I gotta click on him. I think I got him set. I might have to grab a deeper hook. Because I am not getting. Oh, there it was. Um, that was four, I think. Four or five. Ah, uh, I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Sometimes I think that's the way it goes, though. Um, got to set something and drop everything. Let's see if we can get us back here. A bit on three, but I overset. I'm gonna grab my uh, DeForest Diamond. Start over here. I think I'm oversetting something right off the bat there. Sometimes uh, the way the bidding goes on some of these locks, you can't uh, can't use that gem because you'll hit something in front while you're trying to set a pin in the back. Okay, there we go. I think. I'm getting counter in the back there on four, four or five. It's four. Oh, okay, there we go. Got a nice deep false set back. Oh, counter on three or four. Okay, got to click on him.
you know anymore I'm almost wondering if I could just start with my DeForest Diamond because everybody's using the such extreme bidding um, let's see here everything's locked up so I've either hit some counter milling or I think I've hit some counter milling There it is. It was five. We got her open. Um, let's see what late not lock picker put in here. Um, good little lock there. That was fun. Um, I love it when a lock keeps me guessing a little bit. <laughs> so uh, that was that was kind of fun. Um, we have a almost a Schlage style on the back, but it's smaller than my tool there, I'm sure. So, um, but let's move this around and uh, get this thing opened up and see what we uh, see what late night lock picker put inside of this. Um, great little lock there, man. That was uh, that was fun. Um, like I said, I love the mystery. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, some of the fun for me is uh, you never know what you're going to get. So, um, there we go. Right there. I don't think my Schlage tool fit. No, it won't. I'm going to have to do it old school. So, I'm going to just push that down and turn this off. And should come right off of there. Okay. Um, and we are going to shim this because it is a challenge lock. And we don't know what he put in there. Oh, hello. Barely pushed on that and the whole uh, plug wanted to come on out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, got a follower. Key pins are up. There we go. It is a little five pinner. Um, and looks like he's uh, put some threading in there. So um, all the key pins are oh, in and working. Trying to get that to that back one show you guys that it is in there there we go all the key pins are in and working um, and everything was pretty deep needed to be picked so that's a it's a good uh, good uh, bidding there when you don't have anything sitting right at the shear line makes it for a fun pick um, all right nice sharp looking pins here um, very well serrated and t-pinned and spooled so but we'll zoom in on those in just a minute um, looks like we have threading in one and two and four and counter milling in three and five which is what I had said I that counter milling in five was what opened it up on uh, what I ended up catching up on and had to open it up on I think about halfway through the pick I got caught up on the uh, the counter milling in number three so awesome stuff there man great work on this core um, and awesome looking pins too so uh, really good job on this lock late night lock picker um, let's see here looks like we have a commercial serrated really big long commercial serrated and wait that spring to come out He didn't want to come out yet. We'll dig him out in a minute. He's caught up on the threads. I see that chamber one is already threaded. Uh, looks like we have another commercial spool in two. Or commercial serrated, I mean. A commercial spool in three. Oh, he popped out on me. Um, but he was a serrated as well, commercial. See what we got in five, in five here. In five, we have a commercial spool, so not too bad there. Um, let's see if I can get these springs out. I'm going to dig them out one at a time, I think, uh, because it did not want to come out by just dumping. So, and it may actually be stuck in the. Yeah, it's stuck in there. Um, so I know I have. I can see a steel in in uh, five. A really small copper that's stuck in uh, four. Three is stuck as well. 
Yeah, all these springs are stuck up in here whenever he put the cap back on when he threaded it or when he threaded these. But I can see one is threaded. You can probably hear that. Two is smooth. Three is threaded. Four is smooth and five is threaded. So one, three, and five are threaded in the uh, Bible. In the plug we had one, two, and four were threaded with counter milling in three and five. At any rate, let's uh, zoom in, show you guys these pens. Um, awesome job on these key pens. Uh, really good looking pens. Um, and he used all commercials pens up top, but that's, uh, you know, great for the challenge. Um, as you guys can see, it was a serrated in one, a serrated in two, a spool key pin in three, a uh, reduced diameter top with serrations and then a spool underneath on key pin number four, and five was a spool uh, key pin. Then up top, we had a uh, very large uh, serrated. Uh, in two, we have a commercial serrated. In three, we have a commercial spool. Four was a commercial serrated, and five was a commercial spool. Uh, awesome lock, man. Uh, thank you, uh, Late Night Lock Picker, for making this lock. Uh, thank you again, Bill Bacardi, for this lock and everything you guys, everything you've sent. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time, and well, don't break the law.